she is the sports graphic designer for Panther City, uh, along with the Dallas Wings and UT Arlington. She also does photography uh, as well. Welcome to the Today Show, Abigail Rosenbaum. Thank you for coming on. Yeah, thanks, y'all. Really appreciate it. No, that's uh, that's awesome. We, we're we're very happy to have you on tonight. Uh, I guess to kick things off, has there been a a favorite part or a favorite? You know, project that you worked on so far this year that you're like, oh man, that, that was totally awesome. It was definitely, I feel like uh, we talk about it so much, but it was such a height of my career was the Texas Forever Night. Mm-hmm. Uh, everything about that came together amazing. Um, the photo shoot that we did with those jerseys, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm a hometown gal. Uh, Stockyards is more my place than anywhere else. And so getting to do a photo shoot there was awesome. And then the truck that we used in the shoot was actually my truck. Um, so that's my truck from high school, college. I still own it now. I've been at my parents' house. Nice. So getting to see that, plus the jersey I designed, like if I could go back and tell high school me, middle school me, anything like that, like, hey, this thing that you have is just going to be come together and have its moment. And you're just not, you don't process that that's what it's going to be. And then coming to the game and seeing everybody so excited about it. Yeah. And then the home games since then seeing people wearing those jerseys and just knowing that you know some of the things that we raised so much money auctioning off jerseys i designed and that money the benefits it has things like that that texas forever is just one of those things that i never thought could happen and it happened and now i don't know what's, <laughs> You're like, what's, what's the next step right yeah, <laughs> yeah. The set so high <laughs> right well and, and so if you don't mind can you kind of because honestly when i saw the tees for those jerseys and I saw that they were going to be wearing them and then auctioning them off and everything like I, like my eyes lit up and I was like man I if I if I have a chance to get a jersey that's going to be the one I want to try to get I mean me and Andy both were like we should try to get one yeah. at least as, as, as far as yeah. we can unfortunately it got a little too pricey yeah. on yeah. Jersey I, end, but I, I was uh, in the running for a little bit <laughs> yeah right uh but no do you mind going into that process is especially with that jersey kind of like where you got the ideas from and, and just kind of how that process worked into creating the Texas Forever jerseys. Yeah, so um, if y'all have read uh, Donnie's blog, which if you haven't, I highly recommend to anybody, y'all or listeners. Um, he writes one every week. He actually did a blog post that I wasn't didn't know that's what he was writing at the time um, about kind of a little bit into how the Texas jerseys were made. Um, but it quite literally started with a crayon drawing. <laughs> in that I was, uh, I think in my first two weeks or something with the company, they were like, hey, we're gonna design specialty jerseys this year. Here's a blank one. We wanna do it for our Texas Forever Night, have at it. Um, And I was like, okay. So I guess that's what I'm working on for the day because it was our off season for both teams. Um, And the only thing we had in the office was pens, Sharpies, Expo markers, and crayons. And I really wanted color pencils, but crayons is what I got. And so I drew up like three or four designs and that's where it started from, was just a Texas flag on the front. Um, Had to take some convincing of those who are not from Texas that it is okay to change the colors of the Texas flag. That is a very Texan thing to do. Um, We pulled a lot of colleges as examples. one of the biggest ones that we were able to use to convince was the UNT flag that they fly right the by green. the highway. Um, so that one really helped to like push forward. And so it started as just a crayon dr- drawing on this printout back in October, um, maybe September, but started back then with this is what the idea is. Uh, the initial design got approved. It moved to digital and it went through a few iterations digitally um in that the flag was originally purple black and white instead of what the purple red and white that it ended up being um i think actually one of the iterations was purple black and gray since those are our panther city colors just Mm -hmm. as like trying to throw anything out to show all of our different options um and then initially from there we went to red white and blue just a traditional texas flag and then the purple red and white that it ended up being um and so that was very initial and then pulling in and everything making it 
hiding in all the little Easter eggs that I could that were Texas culture. Um, I already know a lot about Texas. I feel like I know even more now than what I thought I would ever know. Uh, and, you know, some refreshers on Texas history. So as long as my Texas history teachers from middle school aren't hearing this, I think we're okay. <laughs> um, and then one thing that I feel is really underrated just because the jerseys are awesome. We talk so much about them, but the shorts as well were custom designed. I did those as well. Um, and so that one was very Fort Worth focused. It had the Fort Worth skyline, the same star pattern that was on the shoulders and then funky town on one of the sides. So the whole process just literally was from crayon to piece of paper, printed piece of paper from my computer. And then the moment the jersey showed up in the office, we had been waiting for them to get there because we knew about when they were showing up. And um, they finally showed up in the office and I was in the middle of a meeting and someone called the person who was in charge of the meeting and was like, hey, the jerseys are here. The meeting just stopped. Like the whole day <laughs> came to a complete halt when the jersey showed up in the office. Um, and so that was, was amazing. Um, and I was lucky enough, thankfully, that everyone at the company is so amazing they actually got me my own jersey oh, nice, um so nice. i wasn't anticipating that i'd get anything that i designed so i got somehow i'm so excited i got one of the jerseys so that's a that's framed and not hung up on the wall yet but it is framed so <laughs> no that's that's crazy awesome yeah no that was definitely one of the best like jerseys i've seen period i mean alternate jerseys in the last you know few years for sure from any team just because again like you said it was very homegrown and had a lot of nods to texas and and fort worth and stuff uh you're, you're gonna hit all these uh uh side questions that i had for <laughs> that i had gotten from my friend uh by, by the way shout out to josh featherstone if he's listening out there but no he actually said like a good question to ask would be you know, what's your favorite Easter eggs that you put in there? And, and so you touched on that with the jerseys. What, what What's some uh, Easter eggs that we should look out for when we look at those? Um, so I don't think it made it to its final print, but there were initially there was the idea to have some teeny tiny little Texases hidden within the stars. Those didn't make nice. the print because they were just a little too small. Um, one is that the constellation is that or the stars is actually uh, what the star pattern, like star chart was for the night of March 4th when the oh. game was played. Wow. Um, which is a lot of little speckles, so no one's really going to notice that, but that's one of those. Um, I feel like we highlighted it, but that the eyes on the cattle skulls, the longhorns, are red, uh, like our Panther City logo had the red eyes. Um, I think we didn't put it out as well, but the eyes on the back of the jersey uh, on the top piece are actually um, a play upon, as much as I'm a horns down kind of gal, or a play upon the eyes of Texas are upon you. So that's on the back. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, uh, <laughs> you're, you're talking to somebody who, who might have, might may or may not have went to Texas. Maybe. Hey, you know what? <laughs> not going to hold that one against you, but also uh, horns down. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. But we're, we're the same system. You right? Yeah. Um, which I have more fun facts about UTA. I have so many random fun facts. Um, when I was at UTA, I was an orientation leader, so I learned a lot about the university as well. Um, that UTA is one of is the only school in the state of Texas to be both in the U, the UT and A and M education systems. Oh wow! Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, for the Texas jersey, so those were a lot of the Easter eggs, and then the shorts being Funky Town. You know, that's another name for Fort Worth and learned a little bit more about the history as to why it's called funky town. Mm -hmm. Um, so things like that. Yeah. That's awesome. So you've probably worked on the, the funky town shirts as well then, right? Oh, I, I did make those shirts. Yes. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> it's the same. It's the funky town with the, um, Fort Worth skyline as well. So great. I actually Very have the cool. t-shirt over here. <laughs> nice. I wear that one though. That one's not framed. <laughs> Good. 